students at Glashen School are getting a taste of something new. This year, the junior high school added a second nutrition break to its day. It replaces pop and chips with fruits and vegetables. And students say it gives them a boost. It's a lot better because like no one's falling asleep and everybody's awake because there's a big gap between lunch and then the end of the day. But it doesn't just stop with food. Students are encouraged to drink healthy too. If I see or any of the staff see that the students have purchased those uh, energy drinks uh, that are highly caffeinated, we confiscate those and tell the students never to bring one again. Ottawa Public Health says this type of program is needed. It's important to show students it's not just for getting them the habits and having good lifetime skills that they, they would have for a long time, but it's also it's part of the education that students receive. Glashen's new nutrition break is part of a broader healthy living program. Another goal? Getting kids active. The Ontario curriculum says that students must have 20 minutes of physical activity at school every day. The principal says being in Centretown puts them a step ahead. Because we work downtown and the students uh, attend this school, we walk wherever we, we need to go as long as it's within a half hour walk. Students say it's a good experience. I've learned that if you eat healthier food, you'll have a better lifestyle and that you'll be more active and, and you'll risk from having diseases. The Public Health Agency of Canada says obesity rates among youth and children have tripled over the past 25 years. It's alarming statistics like these that are forcing schools like Glashen to get kids hooked on healthy living. Jillian Bender, CJTV News, Ottawa.